$100,000 to send you to this place and you're not even feeding them? These people are fucking evil. Am I fucking lying? Hey guys, and welcome back to Smoke Plug. In today's video, we've got to talk about Bad Baby and how after four years of her incident from dr phil she's finally decided to come out and speak her story about her childhood while also exposing dr phil it's a lot so let's get into it i'm sure when you guys hear about the name of bad baby you'll most likely think about her controversial phrase from the dr phil show catch me outside how about that it has now been four years since this incident and danielle has had enough of people bringing up her past her many people still calling her spoiled and bratty to this day, and many even hating on her for no reason. I don't understand why everything I do is always a, a problem. Can I just be left the fuck alone ever? Just cause I post and then people want to say, oh well you put us in your business, you asked you ask for our opinion. No! With all that being said, Danielle recently decided to make a few live streams about the dark truth of her childhood, and she even broke down how much she was affected by the facility that Dr. Phil had sent her to. As a lot of you may remember, the name of the facility that Danielle was sent to after she had went viral for her Dr. Phil episode was called The Turnabout Ranch. Danielle exposed a lot about this place and how much she's been traumatized from it, so let's get into it. Danielle broke down all the disturbing things that had happened to her after she was sent to this ranch for months and guys it's honestly so sad but just check out everything she had to say about it like, these people are so dumb like when i tell you so dumb after this two weeks of us being malnourished not being able to bathe uh not being able to speak to anybody not being able to talk talk to our therapist nothing not being able to send our parents letters now at this place you're supposed to be here for around 100 days so around three months right i was extended i had to stay there for three months for for an extra three months for no fucking reason they lied to my mother all because the the people there seen the dr phil show and knew that i had some steam on the internet so they wanted me to stay there for an extra three months just to fuck with me but like they would try to feed me peanut butter i don't eat peanut butter. Danielle then went on to explain how Dr. Phil has not actually helped her at all, and that if anything, he was only helping out this horrible ranch into continuously doing the horrible things they've been doing. Check out what she had to say. Look, Dr. Phil sends these kids there because he has a connection. He has a, um, he has a friendship with the person who runs it. That's why it's free for him to do it. He don't gotta pay nothing. When there's places like that place that I went to in, um, in Newport, where they really give a fuck about your child and they don't just they don't make them eat all their food on their plate if they don't want to they don't f starve them they don't f yell at them they don't punish them you need to do your education on these places if your child is just not listening to you don't f send them away that's that's not what you do you need to go go to family therapy with your child or try to talk to your child. Lastly, Danielle even had the courage to publicly put Turnabout Ranch on blast all over her social media to her millions of followers. She followed this by making a number of posts, saying, What bothers me even more is Dr. Phil continues to send children there even after knowing what goes on at this place. This is their Instagram page. These people are sick and can't even own up to their wrongs. She she even decided to message the ranch and say this. Why would y'all like a comment that says I fabricated my story about how y'all treat students? If my story is fabricated, then I guess y'all believe the young lady's story about being punished for telling y'all a staff member was her was fabricated too? Come on now, y'all know what y'all do to children that are in need of help after a hard life and y'all treat them like everything that has happened to them. Their lives is their fault, so you punish them for acting out. It's really sad. I can't believe y'all would punish a girl for reporting sex. One other thing, now this doesn't apply to all of the children that go to these facilities, but some of these children that go to these facilities is they 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 act out and they act bad, so their parents think that they're out of control, so their parents think they need to be sent away, and they send them to facilities that I would say are for kids that committed crimes or kids that just act bad, like just act bad for no reason, like they're just bad. They need to get their shit together. No, some of these kids come there from either they act out from being sexual, they act out from trauma in their life. Um, maybe their parents are getting divorced and they started acting out, just stuff like that. And 
what these places do are they punish your child for acting out. They don't help them. They, they, they quote unquote, but they, they do it by punishing. What, what does sitting outside in the cold and eating, eating fucking ramen without the flavor packet and fucking. So what I was saying was by what is, what is, how, how is helping a child by making them eat foods that are nasty and by taking away all their privileges and by making them use a porta potty and stuff like that like how ha, making them do manual how is that helping that's not helping they they treat what, what i feel like turnabout does is they use these kids to keep their 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 farms going they make them take care of their animals they make them pick up hay i i weigh eight pounds i probably weighed about 70 pounds when i was there they had me picking up you know those big blocks of hay after they put all the like they wrap up all the hay they make you throw these things of hay on the trucks like why are, how is this helping what type of treatment is this doing for kids that need help please explain this to me the sad part about this you guys was that even after all of this many people still believe that danielle was still trying to do this all for attention and that's when danielle had enough of it here's what she had to say I know. Okay, everyone wants to know, oh, well, Bad Baby was there how long ago? Why did she never speak out before? Why is she just doing it now? Is she trying to jump on the bandwagon? I could tell y'all the sky is blue outside and y'all won't believe a word I say. So what makes y'all think I was going to go after, a, on my own, with nobody behind me, go after a whole program with zero video, any type of proof like that? All the, at these programs, the only proof that you have of something happening is the people around you and your word. So therefore, I did actually like talk about it very briefly, but I didn't really do as much. I didn't push as hard as I'm pushing now. I was punished for f reporting uh, another student doing stuff like they'll, they, they punish you for whatever the f they feel like punishing you for you could breathe the wrong way they'll put you on reflection people are scared to speak out the reason i am speaking out and i'm trying to get everybody that was there with me and people who went to this program before to speak out is because the more cases we get the more the state will believe because they're not gonna just believe it because they want to there has to be evidence i want to know what you guys think about this whole situation and danielle finally coming out about her experience definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i love you so much and as always i'll see y'all next